Hello and welcome to a brand new episode of Electa Presents the Tucson Powered by Nor with me Rohan and Mala and standing next to me is my beautiful co-anchor Trisha Verma. Trisha. Trisha. Trisha, we're hmm? already on air man, it's your line. Actually, I'm reading this very interesting tweet, you wanna have a look? Tweet! At this time? Okay. So listen, so it says, Hashtag nuts are a great way to add hashtag protein to your hashtag meet this Fridays, hashtag food pack, hashtag stay. With so many hashtags, I know what you're trying to do over here. She's trying to give us hints on today's theme. Today's theme is social media. Hashtag blogger special. Okay then, today we have invited an award-winning blogger who loves travelling, fashion and of course food. Hashtag foodie. Okay, and before she kind of bugs me with a hashtag, you go and have a look at today's twosome. While I get back. Hashtag twosome. I'm out of it. Hi, this is Dipti. Hi, this is Rahul. And we are happy to be here today on twosome. Dipti and I have been together for almost seven years and probably what made her interested in me was I was a chef before and um, yes she is a foodie but she doesn't know how to cook and that's how we complement each other. She can never find out any mistake in my cooking. And right now I'm sitting next to the award winning food blogger Dipti. Dipti welcome to the Tucson. Thank you. How are you today? Very good. I'm going to ask some interesting questions today. To start off with, mm -hmm. jaiwithdipti.com, your blog, which has actually won you so many accolades. How did you conceptualize this and how did it all begin? It actually began in Italy. I was sitting in Lake Como. Wow. And um, the experience of food, travel, fashion. Right. I wanted to put it across in words. Right. And uh, let readers read about it. I'm sure Italy That's how it started. So Italy, the, the landscape Italy and stuff, is, just inspired Yes, you. absolutely. What has been the best experience for you when it comes to reviewing restaurants? And what has been the worst experience? Let's see something interesting as well. Uh, the good thing when you go to review, mostly you feel the best experiences. Right. Because they're offering you the best. Right. And uh, Dubai has amazing restaurants. This, uh, where we're sitting right now, Sanjeev Kapoor, is one of the best restaurants in, in Dubai. Uh, a worst experience, uh, very difficult, but yeah, because I'm a vegetarian. Oh, okay, interesting. Sometimes, sometimes it's even bigger, it becomes difficult as a blogger to right. kind of, you know, try the dishes right. and uh, talk about it. So, Deepthi, tell us the tips that you'd like to give young individuals who want to do a career in blogging. Uh, firstly, I would uh, like to tell them that make sure that you're writing whatever you're writing, it's natural, it's created by you. Right. And uh, you're not really doing press releases because that's not something which a blogger should be looking at at all. Uh, be clear, be, uh, be precise, make sure that you're not giving a lot of information which is not required. Uh, but as a reader, you like to know the facts pretty clear. Of course. So that's very important for food blogging. So Deepti is here with her love of her life Rahul and it's time to choose that ultimate dish which you want us to cook for him. So have a look at this and tell us what is that one thing which you think we can cook today. Well Rahul loves non-veg, especially chicken. So perfect um, example of opposite attract over here. Yeah, yeah true. Uh, I would go with wasabi chicken tikka for him. Wow. I'm sure he'll love it. Wasabi chicken, chicken tikka. tikka. That's yeah. pretty interesting. So over to you Trisha, let's see what Rahul has to say. You think he'll choose the right dish for you? Um, I think so. He knows me pretty well. Okay, let's have a look. So right now next to me is Rahul and he's here with his beloved wife Dipti. Welcome to the twosome. Thank you. So I'd like to know a little about you. You know, you've been a part of the food industry as well. So how is that? What was the experience like? Well, I've done my graduation in hospitality okay. and after that I used to work for Taj Mahal Mumbai. Oh, interesting. Prior to that, during my internship, I worked with ITC Sonar Bangla. Mm -hmm. And for the last 10 years, I've been working as a banker in Dubai. Wow, so that's a jump from hospitality to banking. How, how was it? Was it difficult for you to adjust? Please? Well, I had a background of finance before I did my hotel management. So it wasn't that difficult. but. I realized it at a very early stage of my career that passion and profession needs to be separate things. 
So very cooking very is my true. passion. So like we've heard of the very commonly said quote, the way to a man's heart is through his stomach. I think in your case it's the other way around, right? My cooking is what impressed Dipti. So you rightly said, in my case, it's, it's the, the man's opposite. heart <laughs> and through the stomach. So what would you like us to cook for Dipti today? Well, I think she's a vegetarian and she would love this dahi palak kebab. Sounds a little interesting and different yes. as well, right? So let's move to the kitchen to prepare this wonderful dish. Lecta presents the Two Sims Season 2, powered by Noor. Welcome back after the break. You're watching Electra Presents the Too Soon, powered by Nor with me, Ronan Mala, and my Sat is my Karihan Chef Kulbeep. Welcome to the show. Thank you. We're going to make an exciting recipe today for our blogger, which is Palak or Dahi Ke Kebab. Palak or Dahi Ke Kebab, an excellent vegetarian dish, all meant for the people. Let's have a look at the ingredients. What are we doing? This cheese is here grated. Okay. Here is Palak. Hai. जो हमने चॉप किया हुआ है ब्लांच करके चॉप किया और पूरा पानी निचोड़ा हुआ है उसका यहाँ पे पनीर है ये गार्लिक है ग्रीन चिली है जिंजर है कोरिएंडर है देसी घी है यहाँ पे दही है जो हमने पूरा पानी निचोड़ा हुआ है दही का और ऑल पर्पज फ्लावर है यहाँ पे जीरा पाउडर है काला नमक है वाइट नमक है कसूरी मेथी है और गरम मसाला पाउडर है एंड आल्सो वी आर गोइंग टू बी यूजिंग अ नॉर ऑल इन वन सीजनिंग पाउडर सो लेट्स हैव अ लुक एट द फर्स्ट स्टेप इन मेकिंग दिस इंटरेस्टिंग डिश सबसे पहले हम क्या करेंगे सबसे पहले हम क्या करेंगे पैन को गरम कर देंगे इसके अंदर और इसके अंदर डालेंगे हम थोड़ा सा घी डालेंगे इसके अंदर घी गरम हो गया अब इसमें गार्लिक डालेंगे थोड़ा सा और इसको भूनेंगे थोड़ा सा गार्लिक को गोल्डन ब्राउन है थोड़ा सा हल्का सा ब्राउन करेंगे इसको गार्लिक का फ्लेवर आना चाहिए क्रंची गार्लिक करेंगे इसको थोड़ा सा हम क्या करेंगे इसको गार्लिक ब्राउन हो गया ऑल पर्पज फ्लॉक मैदा डालेंगे इसके अंदर ताकि तो हम पालक की थोड़ा सा भूनेंगे इसको एक दो मिनट और हम क्या करेंगे मैदे को इस पालक, पालक के साथ में मिक्स कर देंगे इसको अब हम इसमें थोड़ा सा नमक थोड़ा सा नमक डालेंगे थोड़ा सा गरम मसाला पाउडर डालेंगे थोड़ा सा जीरा पाउडर डालेंगे इधर कसूरी मेथी डालेंगे फ्लेवर के लिए और ये सीजनिंग डाल देंगे इसके अंदर क्या है और हम इसको मिक्स करेंगे हम इसके अंदर दही डालेंगे थोड़ी सी टाइम टू मिक्स योर योर प्ले योगर्ट और चीज डालेंगे इसके अंदर चीज डालेंगे ये नॉर्मल आपका रेगुलर चीज है ये रेगुलर चीज है आप मार्केट से आप कोई भी चीज यूज करते हैं आप जो पसंद करते हैं आप हम थोड़ा पनीर इसके अंदर डाल देंगे अब यहां पे थोड़ा सा मिर्ची डाल देंगे चॉप ग्रीन चिली चॉप ग्रीन चिलीज यहाँ पे डाल देंगे थोड़ा सा चॉप जिंजर थोड़ा सा काला नमक और थोड़ा सा कोरिएंडर डाल देंगे इधर से अब हम इसको क्या करेंगे इसको मिक्स करेंगे अच्छे से तो 
बेसिकली ये स्टफिंग बना रहे हम ये स्पिनच के बीच में अब हम क्या करेंगे इस तरीके से थोड़े से पीड़े बनाएंगे पीड़े बनाएंगे थोड़े पतले पतले से इस तरीके से ट्राई वन अभी हम क्या करेंगे एक लेंगे पहले और इसके अंदर लेंगे थोड़ी सी दही वाली स्टफिंग जो हमने पहले बनाई थी अब हम इसको क्या करेंगे इसको पैक कर देंगे सील कर देंगे इस तरीके से So here we go. A pallet and dahi ke kebab are ready over here. We can be frying this right now. Kebabs are well fried over here on either side, and it's time to serve. Uh, my school was from eight in the morning till one thirty, so I used to carry three dabbas: one for the first break, one for the second break, and one for after-school activities. Um, I think aloo chaat, sandwiches, and something mitha uh, were my favorite items in my tiffin. And uh, I've always carried food from home, whether it's to shoot, whether it's to radio. I've always carried things in my dabba, which were better than anybody else's dabba. Uh, I have a box of muesli and a box of corn flakes that lie in the office. Once in a while, when I'm feeling inspired, I make poha the night before and carry that. When I'm extra inspired, I wake up even earlier and try and make scrambled eggs, but that happens very, very rarely. Uh, but we try and keep it as healthy as possible. Try and eat at least like six meals a day. That's what I do. So don't have like one giant meal. Split it up. So no one lunch, three small lunches. No one breakfast. About like three or four small, small items throughout the day. So if every two hours you eat something, you, your metabolism is going to be amazing, and you're never going to gain weight, and you'll actually be healthy. Lecta presents the Two Sims season two, powered by Nor. Welcome back after the break to Lecta presents the Two Sims, powered by Nor. And right now I am with Chef Kuldeep, and we're here to make a very interesting dish: wasabi chicken tikka. So, Chef, what are the ingredients? The ingredients are chicken, boneless chicken, hai, yogurt, hai, uh, coriander, hai, garlic, hai, ginger, hai, green chili. Hai, जिंजर का लिख का पेस्ट है पुदीना है लेमन ग्रास है सॉल्ट है जीरा पाउडर है गरम मसाला पाउडर है काली आ, काला नमक है कसूरी मेथी वसाबी मस्टर्ड ऑयल और लेमन जूस ये वसाबी को लोग बहुत सारे लोग नहीं जानते कि वसाबी क्या होती है इसको एक्चुअली इंग्लिश नाम है इसका हॉर्स रेडिस जापनीज हॉर्स रेडिस जापनीज हॉर्स रेडिस जी okay. और ये बहुत सारी काम में आती है जैसे आपकी हार्ट की डिजीज होगी उसके लिए बहुत अच्छी होती है लोग बहुत अच्छे हेल्थ बेनिफिट बहुत हेल्थ बेनिफिट है इसके आप इसको कोई भी खाने में यूज कर सकते हैं अगर आपको इसका फ्लेवर एक बार तो हम स्टार्ट करते हैं हम सबसे पहले क्या करेंगे चिकन लेंगे और चिकन को मैरिनेट करेंगे पहले फर्स्ट स्टेप इज मैरिनेशन ऑफ इसके अंदर क्या करेंगे जिंजर गार्लिक पेस्ट डाल देंगे थोड़ा सा फिर इसमें डालेंगे हम थोड़ा सा लेमन जूस और थोड़ा सा नमक इसको हम 10-15 मिनट के लिए साइड में रख देंगे सो वी हैव केप्ट आर चिकन साइड फॉर मैरिनेशन फॉर अप्रोक्सीमेटली 10 टू 15 मिनट हम क्या करेंगे दूसरी स्टेप बनाएंगे इसके लिए क्या करेंगे चटनी बनाएंगे एक पुदीना लेंगे फ्रेश वाला पुदीने में थोड़ी सी हरी मिर्च डालेंगे अगर आपको स्पाइसी पसंद है आप स्पाइसी डाल दो ज्यादा मिर्चियां डाल दो थोड़ा सा अदरक डालेंगे 
थोड़ा सा गार्लिक डालेंगे तो ये बेसिकली हम ग्रीन चटनी ग्रीन चटनी बना रहे हैं बट ये दूसरे तरह की चीज़ है इसके अंदर थोड़ा सा धनिया डालेंगे धनिया का मात्रा थोड़ा ज़्यादा होना चाहिए पुदीने से ज़्यादा पुदीना से ज़्यादा थोड़ा धनिया तो पुदीने का बहुत ज़्यादा स्ट्रॉन्ग हो जाता है फ्लेवर और लेमन ग्रास थोड़ा डाल देंगे इसके अंदर वो थोड़ी सी थाई फील के लिए थोड़ा थाई फील के लिए लेमन ग्रास डाल देंगे इसके अंदर और थोड़ा सा नमक नमक इसके अंदर डाल देंगे अब हम इसके अंदर थोड़ा सा क्या करेंगे लेमन जूस डालेंगे अभी लेमन जूस क्यों डाल रहे हैं हम इसको लेमन जूस से क्या होता है कि ग्रीन वेजिटेबल्स जब भी पीसते हैं तो काले नहीं इसके अंदर डाल देंगे इसमें हम डालेंगे वसाबी तो जितना स्पाइसी चाहिए उसके हिसाब से वसाबी डाल सकते हैं ना आपको फ्लेवर स्ट्रॉन्ग चाहिए आप उतना डाल सकते हैं वसाबी थोड़ा सा कसूरी मेथी डालेंगे इसके अंदर यहाँ से काला नमक थोड़ा सा डालेंगे थोड़ा सा गरम मसाले का पाउडर थोड़ा जीरे का पाउडर हल्का सा नमक डाल देंगे कि उधर थोड़ी काला नमक है और चिकन में भी हमने नमक डाल रखा है और अब हम डालेंगे इसके अंदर नाउ टू ऐड सम योप्ले योगर्ट और थोड़ा सा लेमन लेमन जूस और मस्टर्ड ऑयल मस्टर्ड ऑयल से भी वो थोड़ा फ्लेवर आता मस्टर्ड है मस्टर्ड ऑयल डालेंगे यहाँ पे और इसको भी मिक्स करेंगे सारे मसाले को अब हम क्या करेंगे जो हमने पंद्रह बीस मिनट के लिए रखा हुआ था मैरिनेट करने रखा है अब हम इसके अंदर सेकेंड मैरिनेशन में यहाँ पे इसके अंदर मिक्स कर देंगे अभी और इसको हम आधे घंटे के लिए अंदर फ्रिज में रख देंगे ताकि ये चिकन पूरी फ्लेवर एब्जॉर्ब कर दे नाउ दैट द मैरिनेशन इज रेडी वी आर गोइंग टू कीप द चिकन टू ग्रिल अब हम इसको ओवन के अंदर डाल देंगे यहां पे अप्रोक्सीमेटली 20 मिनट लगते हैं। 20 मिनट के लिए चिकन वहाँ पे पक जाएगा। So now that our yummy, delicious food is ready, I think it's time to serve it to our guests, right, Rohan? It is time to serve it to our guests, but I'm just thinking, you know what, Trisha? Yeah. They have so much of experience when it comes to food blogging. So with so much of finesse towards food and liking towards cuisines, do you think they're going to like what we cook today? But I think it's a challenge for us. Why? So I'm sure they're going to love it. But whatever challenge it is, let's go ahead and serve them. The Uh, dahi palak kebab was really good you must try it here uh, thank you to sim team to invite us over for this experience we really had fun on the sets of two sim thank you very much Thanks to Tusum team and options by Sanjeev Kapoor. Wasabi chicken tikka, what a dish! What a blend of ingredients and flavors. I must say, you should come here and try it. Thank you.
and now we have reached the concluding part of our show i hope you guys enjoyed watching this episode and you know we are running some exciting contests on our social media pages so i hope you are following us facebook.com slash the twosome and twitter.com slash the twosome so hashtag contest se yaad aaya let's go have a look at what we have for grabs this week elekta is giving away an amazing 3g tablet to win this join us on our social media pages to know more well now we have reached the end of our episode today it's time to say goodbye to you guys next week we'll get you some more good food and an amazing cooking so until then this is your host rohan vanmala and me trisha varma saying #goodbye goodbye